Hello, this is the Penguin Gentleman, and I'm coming at you with a very long overdue tea review. And I've got a tea I've been working on, I've been sipping on it all summer long, got it in the beginning of summer, and I'm so excited to show it to you because it's definitely gotten to one of my top three favorite teas out there. And what better time? It's fall, it's getting pretty cold here, so why not have a great cup of tea, warm up, why not? So what I've got for you today is World Markets Moroccan Mint Tea. It is a green tea, and first off, you know, I'm not a really big green tea fan. I've always considered the flavor a little too weak for me. I prefer black teas, but this has really knocked it out. It's fantastic tea, and when I explain kind of the flavors, you'll understand why, and you're going to want to try too. So this is from World Market. Not sure if you have a World Market around you. It's not that common where I am, but there is one. Um, if it is on the website, I'll post a link to it in the description. But anyway, Moroccan Mint, it is a floral Chinese green tea blended with fresh peppermint in a heady, strong, and sweet infusion. And when they say peppermint, really, that is the peppermint. The ingredients are, you know, organic green leaf tea. And, you know, I'm not a big one that says, oh, you have to get organic. It's better than every kind of tea. I'm the kind of guy, hey. If it's organic and it tastes good, why not? But other than that, whatever. But it's got that peppermint and the jasmine, and you're really going to smell and taste those flavors. Um, I got this bag. It was 2.4 ounces, and I think I got it for something between $12 and $13. So it's a little more expensive, but, you know, this is a bag. It's a full leaf, which I, if you've seen my other videos... I really like full leaf because I feel that it has a stronger flavor, you get more value, and you really can really control how much flavor you want. Plus, they tell you right on the packaging, reuse and re-steep these tea leaves for more flavor. So it's like, who can argue with that kind of value? But, I mean, like I said, this flavor, it's like nothing else I've had, and it's really fantastic. You're going to get your value for it. I mean, I've been working on it since the beginning of summer, and I'm only halfway through. So you really get that value. And once you open it, first thing you're going to get, you're going to get hit with just the smell of peppermint. It's extremely strong peppermint smell. I love it because I love peppermint. But it's great because, you know, you have a stuffy nose, you're a little sick, just take a big strong whiff of it, got to clear your, your sinuses right out. But it's fantastic. I mean, you got this nice, beautiful, full-leaf tea in there. Pretty sure you can see it. But got great smell. And especially when you brew it, it's going to completely transfer through the smell in the tea leaf right into the tea. I, uh, you can, I usually do one teaspoon per cup. That's plenty for me. It's going to give you a really strong cup of tea. Once again, if you want to do more, if you want to do less, do whatever you want. If you, you want to add more tea leaves, you really don't want to add too much to saturate the water or else you're just going to, you know, you're going to be wasting tea leaves out there. But one teaspoon works for me, and I usually brew it for about 3 minutes, 45 seconds. And once again, you know, you don't have to get a stopwatch out there. You don't have to go right to the second for how much you brew. It's trial and error. You do what you want. You want more, you want less, so on and so on. And since it is a green tea, you really don't have to worry about oversteeping it because it's not going to have as many tannins as that black tea. But still, you don't want to just leave it in all day. You really don't. So... Keep it about 3 minutes, 45 seconds, you're going to have a really great cup of tea. Now, once it is all brewed and everything, you're going to keep on having that really great smell. That peppermint's going to keep on coming. It's going to have this herbal smell along with the jasmine and the green tea. It's a really great smell, really calming, really relaxing. And you're going to have this beautiful, nice, golden, kind of orange, clear color, which is really great because if you're a little worried about drinking tea, maybe staining your teeth or something like that, this is going to have a much lighter, clearer color than those black teas. Still great, but you know you just shouldn't have to worry about that. And so the flavor is just fantastic. It's you've got this light flavor of the green tea mixed with this nice herbal peppermint, and it really coats your mouth and your throat, and it's so soothing, it's so relaxing, and it's, it's really refreshing and tasting. It's really great. If you have a sore throat or you have a cold, this is fantastic because the peppermint is going to clear out your sinuses and the green tea and the jasmine, it's going to coat your mouth and really soothe your throat, soothe your mouth. It's fantastic for that. 
And like I said, it's really calming. So, you know, you can have this before bed if you need to calm down. It's just great for that. It's quick to make. So if you want to take it to work or class or in the morning or what have you, you can brew it up real simple, put in a thermos, take it with you, and you got some great tea to go with you the entire day. And once again, with the full leaf, it's great because you can just have, have the full leaf tea. You can keep it. You can toss it. You can do whatever you want. It really gives you a lot of flexibility with what you want with your cup of tea. And it's great. I would not recommend putting anything in this. It's a very light tea. It's green tea, so you don't definitely don't want to put milk in it. Don't want to put sugar, no honey. Don't do that. It's going to just kill. It's too light. It's too fragile of a tea. Just, just accept it as it is. Just accept the tea as a green tea with the peppermint. It's a very light, fragile flavor that's really delicate. It's great, though. And just accept it. Just, just have fun with the peppermint flavor. And you're just going to really like this tea. So that is the World Market Moroccan Mint. Strongly recommend it. I mean, it's great when it's cold and when it's warm. It's refreshing, but it's calming. Just, I would highly recommend trying this out. Get it where you can. If not, just try any Moroccan mint, any green mint tea. It's going to be really great for you. So this is the Penguin Gentleman. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.